Hello and good morning. I've had a couple requests to update the BC250 video for Warthog, and I will probably do an update video on the BC250, but today I want to show you how to mine Warthog from setting up your node all the way to tuning it and how to check your actual wallet balance. So today we're going to be going online, we're going to be going to Warthog Network, we're going to be downloading their node and their wallet, which Windows Defender obviously sees as a problem. We go ahead and just hit keep file anyway. And if you want to go through the Marquez safe process, you certainly can. However, that requires some web intervention. So once you have both the node and the wallet downloaded, you'll see it in your Windows Explorer here, just right click on the node and run it as administrator. That's going to launch in such a way where after <laughs> you white flag it, it will be good to go for incoming connections um, on the network. If you enable private network access, you can also mine to your node, but there's a separate way to do that. You actually have to launch the node with command prompt with RPC mode enabled. Uh, if you guys have questions on how to do that specifically to solo to your node, drop it in the comments and I will try to help you. However, at this point, I would recommend just solo mining to one of the two pools that exist currently, or I'm sure there will be more pools in the future. So the solo mode was the only way to do it in the past. Now we have actual pools. Right now I'm going to go in and I'm going to find the file path that we need to CD into. Once the node is running, go in to your file explorer, copy this, then type CD in the command prompt, space, and then right click with your mouse to paste, then hit enter. Now you can query the wallet. So we're going to do wart hyphen wallet hyphen windows. Then we're going to do dash space, uh, space dash C, which is create. Um, uh, this is an empty wallet, so I'm going to show you all the information here. I don't really care. This is only for demo. I've already deleted the JSON, but copy this top address. This is what you actually need to mine to. Don't share this with anyone, um, specifically the private and public key. Don't share that with anyone. Your wallet address isn't really that big a deal, but hop into MMPOS and go over to wallets. Once you've done that, go over it add wallet upper right hand corner name it whatever you want and then go ahead and select for coin warthog once we get into the actual configuration on the miner you will have to tell a console into your rig or if you have a keyboard mouse and monitor hooked up into it you can also do the amd uh, ocl and amd gpu driver update you actually have to downgrade the opencl and the driver to get the uh BZ miner to work properly for Warthog. So anyway, you can see I'm setting up a miner profile here after we key in the wallet. We're going to be using BZ miners latest beta. It should already be in MMPOS, but if not, go over to BZ miners GitHub, go to their betas, and you're looking for the beta ending in B7, boy7. So over here, you can see in the actual mining pool profile. We've got everything set up correctly. We've got the wallet registering. We've got the coin showing correctly. We have the mining software showing correctly. Everything looks good. So we should be in solid shape to go over to the actual worker, the BCT50. Uh, hit this little change miner profile button up here. Scroll down through your profiles and find the one you just created. Swap over to it. Uh, mine's already running that, but here you can see some hash rate. Um, down here, I'm going to show you my tune. You can get more hash rate out of these, but I found that this is most efficient, at least from me. So a thousand megahertz core lock and then 650 millivolts on the core. So these are drawing just about accurate uh, software wattage, just under 100 watts each, which is pretty good. And we can see over here on the pool, I hate Wooly Pooly, but it's working. So I'm using it right now in solo. We have confirmed hash rate, confirmed balances. Uh, to check your balance once you've gotten a payout, go back to command prompt on your node computer and do the same thing, CD, and then you can right click to paste or you can type in the actual path to where the Wart Wallet Windows file is and then just do space dash B, which is for balance. There are instructions after that on how to send. Those are located on the Warthog Network website. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have questions.